Okay, it's taking longer to load than I thought. <laughs> but I'm back again with another video. Come on. I kind of, I kind of like getting the list put in, so that's why I left it. So, all right, so I'm back here in the uh, M48 Rombanzer because, well, I was having one of those days where I took a look at my garage and went, "Huh, I haven't played this thing in freaking months." So we're going to make an entire day of it. So. This is going to be a simple uh, ace game right here. And yeah, I don't feel anything got too crazy with it, but you just kind of had to keep at it. And it's pretty much just what this tank does best is, is a kind of more slow and steady play. Now, because of the uh, giant dozer blade on the freaking front, the thing's pretty freaking slow. But is it slow as hell? Now, so a couple things I do, I, I do really like this tank. Because, once again, if nothing else, it's neat to look at. <laughs> but this really reminds me of the old M48 uh, Tier 10 before they uh, redid the model and uh, put it in HD. So, we got that with the uh, 90 mil going on here. So the turret is actually pretty solid. And you got good gun depression for this uh, little tier eight. Even the hole is kind of all right. You got a 30 millimeter uh, dozer blade in the way acting as space armor. So, you know, any KV2s you run into who decide to shoot your hole can suck it. <laughs> and also the added advantage is, is this dozer blade actually obstructs the view because the uh, hole is kind of this uh, bow shape bit itself so it's a little harder to know when you're getting into the uh, lower plate but it, it's decent enough armored against lower tiers for the the hole itself <clears throat> and you got enough armor to side scrape now obviously the world's biggest friggin weak spot is still here however it's like so many people don't run into these kind of tanks this tank often enough that they really just like oh my god what the hell is that I don't know shoot it so right away let's kind of get into the battle itself so uh, my team is doing uh, god knows what and why I still have 10 guys still sitting in there uh, of course rounding up uh, like these ones should have already moved out TDs are kind of moving into their uh, TD positions uh, I'm going over to the heavy area here at the uh, down Zeppelin. And uh, now what I'm know we got I got an IS-6. There he is. And then I got the Oni coming with me. And that's more or less what we're going to have over here. We Because this is the heavy area, it's probably going to get a good bit of uh, artillery support. Because uh, by God, nothing's going to friggin' move. Uh, we're going to have, may have a problem here, just how my team's kind of moving to the center, you got Clown Car being Clown Car, but the castles, nothing's really going at, but we got an SU-152, uh, maybe, I think it's going to be on Overwatch until, you know, the rest of the team gets off their ass and starts actually want to play the game. Okay, so, I, this is about as far as I want to go, because I don't know what's around the corner. And there's only me, the weakish IS-6, and an Oni, and uh, none of this is particularly good. Plus, typically, your team only sends, like, two people to one side, so the enemy team decides that's the only side they're going to focus on. So, right here, I normally I'd be trying to press up to this rock, try and get shots. As a matter of fact, if I was any faster, I may even go as far as this rock and try to get an early spot for anyone trying to work the way down here and into this bushed area. But I'm not. And as such, I'm going to just hold here and going to try to make them come around. So I'm going to try to be hold down with the uh, decent turret. We'll, we'll pretend this doesn't exist as much. But though we have to be aware, so when we try, when we move, we want to kind of move uh, backwards diagonal and uh, shift it up on them so they can't really zero in on it. So, uh, I mean, I just kind of got behind and kind of kept me. But 
here we go. We got our first customer, the uh, standard B. A little slow to get up here, but because of the uh, machine gun turret, it was just enough to get me lit. And here's stun because artillery. And I'm just going to accept the stun right now and just take whatever shot we can. Now that I'm actually uh, looking to get into a good fight. And let's just stop this for a second. So, because, look at this, this is already going to be four tanks. That's a tier nine, I got a tier seven, a uh, seven and a half, and then you got me the, uh, I don't, I don't even want to know what fucking tier we think this is. <laughs> we'll say eight. <laughs> so, we got, what is this? We got Tiger 2, Tiger 1, Standard B, and the VK-72. So they actually got a decent force, but I'm going to be cold down trying to look for some shots. I, I kind of fumbled into him. I tracked him because I thought I might be able to get up underneath the hole itself. Like with the uh, 45 Bs, and, but now we're going to gold because that guy is pretty well armored. You know, uh, we're getting about 255 pan out of it. So he was a little over angled. He was relying on the uh, thickness of the armor alone instead of the angle to bounce it. We gotta be careful about the stand B, so let's kind of keep an eye on him, and we're going to try to work out what we should do. We really don't have a force to actually push in. Looks like AT shots coming in. Okay, Tire 2 finally uh, found his keyboard. Located the W key, and now he's on his way. Good. So, we're going to try to go for the turret, and I think we hit the side and just bounce right off. We're still firing gold, because I still gotta deal with the friggin' VK. I want to get, honestly, I want to get rid of that standard B as soon as I can. And check that out. That's pretty cool. Wait, did it, did he expand on its own? Okay. Yeah, I can still get damage and uh, stun through this huge mass. Oh, well, now everything's perfect. But, okay, now I'm going to try to go to the more flat area. Now, I see these guys have uh, backed off, so they're starting to try to turtle up because uh, Artie hurts. Or maybe they really want to go around on the uh, IS-6. Now, I'm feeling confident enough, it's time to really start pressing in. We've got the Tiger II firing from the rear. Yeah, hey, at least he's in the fight this time. Now, we're trying to move up. Now, we don't really want to be seen right here because we've got a good bit of ground cover. And we probably were seen, because I'm getting spotting anyway. But I don't want to be exposed. Okay, now I'm trying to work with the I-6. Okay, like once again, we're going to try and go for the turret. And so, oh, of course, we miss and bounce. Tiger 2 just comes, Tiger 1 comes around, just doesn't give a shit, and slams gold ground right through our front. Not really a big deal. Now we got to worry about, because of how far back I am, this VK may uh, go ahead and uh, start getting a little more brave to try and come around on me. But we gotta try and clear these two out and relieve uh, the IS-6 and myself. And I'm just gonna kinda idiot it into the IS-6. Drop one on the tire. Just back up. I'm already low. There's no reason to block this guy. Alright, tire fire. Come around on him. Kill him. Boom. IS-6 may still be on reload. Nope, he's off of it. He's tracked. I'm just going to use him as a bit of cover if I can, and we're going to zero in to the hatch best we can while the Tiger 2 is going no. So, we just got tracked by the VK. We're going, it's fine. He's got a long reload, so we can just sit here. Didn't have the kit anyway. And at some point, I probably blacklisted this friggin' SU because he's just click, 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 and you're freaking annoying. Now, we didn't have the advantage early on, and once again, getting this far close is adding to other problems. Uh, the typical bushwanker area over here, and then the very typical bushwanker position over here. So, before we wanted to kind of keep our distance just so we could have something to hold down behind, oh my god, that guy's stuck. You can tell by the uh, curved turret. Oh, excuse me. So, now we're feeling confident enough we can actually start moving up and trying to dig the last VK out. What he should be doing is uh, falling as far back as he can. And at least behind this hill, this ridge line here is where he needs to be. Right, probably a little further because there's an opening. That's what he needs to be doing, but he's not. He's going to try and hold us here. 
So I'm just trying to angle around, maybe catch a glimpse, and I'm like, okay, where is he? You know what? We're just going to go around the corner and find out where he is. And he's pointing the wrong way, so we'll slam a gold run right into his lower plate. Tire 2 comes around, tries something. I'm not sure if he did anything. doesn't matter. Now, VK is tired of it. Uh-oh. Now we got Brigetto jumping in. And because I've also taken a bounce from a Super Hellcat, so I know there's at least one Bushwinker hiding in the rear. And check the team list. Not many Bushwinkers left. So, yay. Got the T95. The T95 is now spotted in the center, so we don't have to worry about T95. Got to still worry about the two artillery. Tiger 2 is trying. I'm kind of backing off because I didn't know if this guy really wanted to come around. I think he fired or something. Or I really just didn't give a shit. So I just came around the corner and shoot him in the lower plate. Okay. Now I'm just... He fired. Go for it. Now we're going to take him out. And we have to make sure. Either get all the way around his side or get it into the lower plate. Now, now since the guy I was loading all the gold for is uh, dead... We're going to go right back to our standard because, well, quite frankly, I like making money. And it just makes you slightly smarter. Now, the Brigado realized he is way in over his head, and I'm just going to slap a shell onto him, bounce the Super Hellcat, you know. You know how we do. Because, like I said, this thing actually has some decent armor. The problem is it's got a huge weak spot. Now, we've got the Super Hellcat lit. We'll take a pop shot and try and get what we can some nice delicious spotting and Brigado is trying to bush up as hard as he can and I'm just trying to get in and clear him out before he can do anything and there we go now I'm just going to keep charging at him and I'm going to try to wiggle and make his shot as hard as possible but he apparently knows what a rom panzer is and doesn't give a shit about the blade but this is a heavy take so we just ram him for a hundred and keep going, auto-aim him, and take him out while he's reloading his three shots. Okay, I decided this is the perfect time to come around. If he had that thought, I don't know, uh, ten seconds ago while I was charging down the, uh, Brighetto, may have been able to kill me, but he didn't. So, we'll auto-aim him and just try to get him at the end of the shot. He's down to one shot, and I lose him in the auto-aim somewhere behind a bridge line. So, this could have been about 3,000 damage game, but, you know, let, let auto aim do the job for me. Okay, nothing more artillery left. Uh, SU's still here, yay. And so, I mean, Artie will be here, here, here. And the more, slightly more rare, although you probably see it more at lower tiers, they'll end up here and here. So, basically, if I want any damage in this game, given my speed, any more damage, I'm going to have to go check here, and he needs to be here. Otherwise, I'm going to just be staring at nothing. So, we got one already all the way hugging the one line red line. So, where is the next one? Just going to go up and over the Hellcat's uh, bushwinker position. Now, they seem to think the already is over there, and I'm like, okay, if I have any hope of getting this already, he needs to be in this corner. And maybe he's kind of behind a small ridge here, so get all the way up here investigated, and there's nothing there. So, our game is uh, pretty much done, and there's the other already. Dead and gone. And, there we have it. That's the game. And you see our nice uh, three bullet holes from the uh, Pregetto. Just didn't care. The armor, like I said, it's pretty decent. It'll hold up definitely against lower tiers. Uh, it's like when I played the old M48 tier 10. It's like I see a tier right, I just like no respect them. Just go at them. It, it doesn't matter. It's still a little fear, but like I said, uh, this tank is a little weird and not really well played. Because most people don't like the mobility. And I wish it was faster. Give it, give it some grunt in the engine so it'll climb a friggin' hill. Be nice. You got the world's biggest weak spot, second only to the fake padding, with its even larger weak spot. But overall, you actually got a fairly decent turret right here itself. But you got to be careful when poking around corners and ridges, because this is going to come up first. And you could use this kind of for spotting, because you only need this much to actually spot anything. 
But, I mean, I like this thing. This here is an ace gameplay. We got basically 4,000 combined. We balanced a good number of rounds, actually. You know, 17, uh, 70 uh, blocks. You know, they see the round pans and they go, oh my god, what the hell is that? And even then, because Gurgle won't, the smart ones will still try to hit here, but RNG decides, dink, it hits here. And this is some strong armor right there. So, uh, I wouldn't quite recommend this tank for just about anyone, but like I said, if nothing else, it looks unique. It's interesting to look at. So, I mean, that's all I got for you, so catch you later.